Hello chickens! So today I have a homeware haul! I was going to put this as part of my um, moving vlog but I just know that this in itself is going to be really long because I've bought a lot of stuff so I was like ah I'll just make it a separate video so here it is excuse the really boring dark background um my LEDs fell out of the plug and I'm too short to reach and Sid's not here so we're just gonna have this dark gloomy vibe love it um there is gonna be no order to this everything that I've bought is in such a mix match of bags so you're probably gonna have a kitchen item then a living room item then a bathroom item but hey ho that's the best I can do um also obviously like well not obviously because you guys don't know this the flat is completely unfurnished so we've had to buy actual furniture like sofa wardrobe blah 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 which I can't show you right now um but I will show you guys that in the moving vlog when it's all in the apartment which will be quite exciting because at least it'll give you guys something to look forward to rather than me showing it all in one go so this is all the little homeware bits, but you'll get to see the furniture in the vlog. Um, our apartment is a grey, white and black theme, so everything that we've bought has had that in mind. Um, but yeah, I will shut up and just get started. So the first thing that I have next to me is a biscuit tin. This is from The Range. Um, everything that we've bought is either from Asda, The Range or Ikea. And we still need to get a toaster and a kettle. We were meant to get that a week ago and we just keep forgetting. So this is my reminder to me editing right now get a fucking kettle and a toaster bitch um so yeah biscuit tin white and gray cute love it um towels as well we got we went for this dark gray color so in these we've got like two like big beach towels because sid prefers the big towels whereas i like the normal size towels because i feel like the big ones absolutely drown me um so i've got him two of the big ones i got myself two of the medium ones and then i also bought two small ones for hand drying and i need to stop going like that because my double chin is like very prominent anyways moving on I've got this cool oh yeah another thing that we've got place with another thing we've got items from sorry i'm so out of breath and chaotic at the moment is amazon uh, so this is from amazon and it's a laundry basket but it's so cool separates the dark lights and colors i can't tell you how much i hate separating washing and this does it for me and then it comes with obviously like a, a base to put it on but yeah and it fits our theme of black white and gray so oh now i've got to try and fold this back up that will be a post video problem um right moving on to this bag oh jeez i'm gonna bloody break the things uh these are all from asda so because i've i'm literally on like mum talk at the moment i've bought myself well me i've bought sid and i these i keep saying myself because i'm a control freak but obviously sid will be using them as well but loads of these little storage pots to organise and put stuff in. And I could not find any that I liked. Obviously, like, the most go-to ones are the ones with the bamboo lids. But they just don't fit the vibe of my apartment. So I've been looking for ones with, like, black or grey lids. But all of the ones I've seen are plastic and just quite tacky. But these are glass. And the lids are very nice. And these were, like, £2 each from Asda. So... And just going into Asda was an impulse thing anyway, like I wasn't actually going to go, but I was on the way home from my nan's and she's got this big Asda next to her and I was like, oh, I'm going to go in and see if I can find some mugs, um, some like novelty mugs for the apartment. Came out with zero mugs, but I came out with fucking loads of these. So I got four little ones. I'm thinking of like putting prepared fruit in these and putting these in the fridge because they're a bit too small to put anything like breakfast bars or stuff in. Um... And I love fruit, so four of those. And then I won't get them all out, but I also got four of these medium sized ones, which I'm thinking of putting like Belvita bars or naked bars, like little snacks in those. And then I got two bigger ones. I'm thinking one for pasta, one for rice, maybe. I don't know. I'll see what we need to use them for when we've actually moved in. 
Um, and this is not apartment related, but I saw this in Asda and I bought myself it because I literally put it up, picked it up, put it back down. I was like, no, I don't need it. Picked it up again. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll regret it if I don't buy it. And it's got all of the uh, Disney villains on it, which is very much my vibe. And it's sparkly purple. And if you guys didn't know, purple is my favourite colour. Everything apart from black and green in my room, because Slytherin vibes, um, everything I own is purple. So, loved this. But that's nothing to do with the flat. Um, anyway, moving on. Toilet roll stand. Not that exciting, but is a need because we don't have a toilet roll holder in our bathroom. So, pop the toilet rolls in there and the one you're using. And I don't know, it's just a necessity. Um, next we have, right, weird ick about our apartment, which we both literally were like, that's so strange. We don't have a cutlery drawer, um, which we didn't vibe with. So we were like, where the fuck are we going to put our cutlery? Because we went to go and buy a cutlery, like, tray organiser thing. And then I was like, hang on, when we viewed the apartment, I don't remember seeing any drawers. And Sid was like, oh, don't be silly, there'll be a cutlery drawer. So I looked back on the pictures, there's no drawer. So we were like, where are we going to put our cutlery? So I bought one of these from the range. It's a cutlery organiser, I think. I actually don't think it's that. I think it might be one of those things that you put by your sink to put your sponges and stuff in. But it fits the vibe of our aesthetic and it fits the vibe of our apartment. And we can put like knives, forks, spoons in here and then keep it in one of the cupboards. I know, so strange, but you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Um... Next up, this set of chopping boards, which is from Amazon. These are so pretty. They're for, I'm not going to, oh, oh, fuck it, I'll just get them out. So they're four different shades of grey. So you've got the little signs up there to see what they are. But yeah, they're just so sleek and modern. I flipping love them. And then it comes with a little stand that you can put them in. Um, Cause yeah, I didn't want those downstairs in my family home. We have the uh, colorful ones and I was like, that's just not gonna, it's not gonna do it for me. So did a little search and found some gray ones. So love them. Um, and then here, pretty boring. I've just got four pint glasses, um, just standard ones from Ikea. And me and Sid drink out of our own like novelty mugs. Like I've got endless Harry Potter ones. He's got like Star Wars ones. But we've bought a couple of these dark grey ones for when friends come over. Um, so that we can look sophisticated. <laughs> um, so yeah, a couple of those as well. They kept clonking so I've put them there. Ignore that. Right, next. Colander. Just for colander uses. But I couldn't find one that I liked anywhere. And I was getting really stressy about it because I didn't want a plain silver one. But I found this uh, like light grey one from the range. So, win-win. Um... These we didn't buy. My sister went to Scotland recently to visit family and she bought these for us. Um, so just little oven mitts, but Scotland vibes. I think they're so cute, I love them. Um, cutlery, we just got this set from Asda. I hated the Ikea cutlery. I'm so specific about knives and forks. Um, the thing that sold it for me are these teaspoons. I really like these teaspoons. I can't lie. I'm not vibing with the forks. They're a bit too long. Like, they're really long. It's kind of given me the ick, but I liked the handles. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta put up with shit. Um, and then drinking cups, we got four of these. These are from Asda as well. And they're just a nice um, tinted black. Couldn't get my words out then. Tinted black glasses, very sophisticated, look sophisticated, they're a pound each. Fucking love Asda. So yeah, got four of those. This bag's taking up most of the shop now. Right. This is just a draining um, board. So once we wash up, we bought, I think it comes with it. Or we bought the things to go in it to like put the plates and stuff on to drain dry. Um, a little squeegee for our bathroom mirror when it gets all steamed up after a shower. 
I love the word squeegee. Um, this chopping board um, didn't fit the vibe, but Sid really wanted just at least one wooden chopping board um, for like bread and stuff and to do like cheese platters and bits. So I was like, there's always an exception for cheese. So uh, speaking of cheese, a grater, again, not very exciting. Then we got these little heat proof mats for when we take our pots off the heat so we don't burn the sides and lose our deposit. <laughs> um, just a set of tea towels. Um, this comes with four different designs. These are literally like, I think they were like pound fifty from Ikea. Don't really need bougie. Uh, do you know, now I'm looking at them, I fucking hate them. Because I saw these really nice ones in Asda earlier and I was like, no, we've already got tea towels, but I kind of forgot how ugly these were. I'm going to be going back to Asda to get more tea towels. Um, what are these for? Oh, these are something to do with something else. Come back to that. Um, frying pan, again, not very interesting, but needed. Um, uh, whatever these are called. Plug adapters, that's not the right, the right word. But I like these ones because they're power saving, because obviously we want to save as much. I don't know why I'm all the way over here. Got to save as much as we can on like electricity and stuff. And these have the ons and offs for each thing plugged in, which I flipping love. Um, what have I got here? Ah, a set of six wine glasses. I really like these wine glasses. Um, I prefer rounded to like those skinny, not the champagne glasses, but you can get ones that are like half champagne, half wine glasses. And I, they're too difficult to drink out of. I really like the sturdiness sturdiness of these and I think these were like four pounds for a pack of six love Ikea stan Ikea um ah oh yes yeah, so here's the um Oi. so that's the thing that we pop onto the draining tray to put our plates in you have to buy that separately kind of a scam um, and then we've got our plates and bowls of choice. So we went, there was so much option. And again, me and Sid, like I have OCD, he's got ADHD. So we're really specific about like cutlery, bowls, things we eat out of. Um, so it took us a while to choose, but we got there eventually. So we went for these dark gray, like very flat plates, pack of four of those. And then we got the matching little plates cute and then we got so these are like boldy plate versions so good for like pasta and bits like that um but then we were like oh but like that's an ick for cereal and like yogurt so then we got so then we got the little bowls for cereal yogurt and stuff like that so Got the full set, which makes my heart very, very happy. Uh, these are boring, got a couple of packs of these. These are just to stop like the furniture making marks on the floor. Um, pizza cutter. We, oh, that's giving me another reminder. We still need to buy kitchen utensils. So that won't be in this haul because we've still not got any kitchen utensils apart from a pizza cutter. So it's now chucking it down with rain. So sorry if the lighting changes or you can hear that in the background. Although that'll be quite soothing if you can, so. Um, bottle opener, again, boring. Um, and then we got this set of black knives, which, gorgeous. I was really hoping to find some black knives. I didn't really want silver ones. Uh, and it comes with a little stand as well to put them in. Very thin, sleek, out of the way. We don't have much kitchen space, because uh, it's like a studio apartment. So, yeah like those um and then just a pack of gray and white scissors which again oddly fit the theme very well we were so lucky with the things that we found i mean i say that gray white and black is a very easy thing to uh, cater for but still we were like oh my god what if we can't find this thing in gray white or black but no we managed just fine <sighs> last bag of bits oh no apart from that little range bag um, so we've got four of these, these are just um, pillow fillers for the sofa, so yeah, four of those, get them out of the way. 
I don't know where the fourth one is. I've probably dropped it on the way in. That's a later problem. Um, right, we've got a little bathroom bin. Our bathroom is actually beige and grey, which is kind of annoying. The tiles are beige, but the floor's grey. Don't really like the mix of colour in the bathroom, but we've got a beige bin to try and tie in a bit more of the beige. Um, so yeah, a little bathroom bin. And then this is like a shower rack to put your shower gels and stuff in and that's where those other little hooks come into play because we can't drill into the tiles so they're like little sticky ones and you pop those on then we got some pillow covers our sofa is like a dark gray um so we've got two white pillowcases and two black to put on the pillows so the actual sofa itself is gray white and black now i'm thinking about it i think gray like a mix of grey pillows would have been better because I feel like this is going to be a bit too harsh but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it sorry I keep looking at myself because I'm fucking vain um this I didn't want but Sid really wanted it and I can't say no to him so and I just don't like it because of the wooden lid but he bought it to put coffee in a little coffee jar we didn't need to get three because we both don't really drink tea and we both don't have sugar in our coffees so we didn't need the traditional coffee sugar teapots um but he really liked this so he's gonna put coffee in that then this doormat i freaking love this doormat and i know it's not like it's corky color but um all doormats are this color and i don't know I just, I really, really liked this one. And it was only £3.50, so love that. Um, and then we've got two sets of black hangers for our wardrobe. Oh, I've just got the little remains of that mat all over my bed. Brilliant. Um, then we got basic set of three pans. These didn't even come with lids because we're on a budget. Um, but once we have a bit more, bit more money, we're going to buy like proper pans, pots and pans. But these will do for now um yeah got those and then we got this this also goes in that draining tray so we've got that sticky thing for the plates and then we pop this pops on there as well and this is to drain the cutlery which is fun and then we got all oh, the rug stuff's all over it we got this soap dispenser in this toothbrush holder for the bathroom again matches the bin fits the beige um yeah cute and then we also got a black one for the kitchen um ah yes toilet brush this is the same beige as this but in a toilet brush version um that's all that from that bag Huh. And lastly, this little range bag. We have a bath mat, a grey one. It kind of goes with the towels, kind of a different grey, kind of a nick. <laughs> um, we went to Asda and bought like a whole bag of like chemicals and cleaning stuff. But we realised we didn't get a scrub mummy or a scrub daddy and I freaking love scrub daddies. They're so good and I love cleaning. So when we were at the range, we picked up a scrub mummy because um, these have like a jewel end. It's like scrubby one side, sponge the other side. Um, and then we've got these coasters. These are just like black, grey slates. Ah, that reminds me, we still need to get placemats. Oh my God, there's so much that we still need to get. Fuck. Look at me doing a homeware haul and we haven't even got half the stuff yet. Um, and then we got this. Oh, fuck. We got two toothbrush holders. Fuck. Damn it, I thought we did that. This is nice as well. Maybe I can utilize that to put like, oh, I don't fucking know, I'll find use for it. I need to stop swearing. I wonder why I don't get monetized. Um, roasting tray. pizza tray again these are boring things but needed and then two non-stick baking trays and that is it we've still got some stuff 
from Amazon on the way, like a shoe rack and um, some little black wire baskets to put in our cupboards to put like crisps and packets of stuff in. Um, but again, like I'll include everything I haven't included now in the moving vlog and then you guys will actually be able to see it in use, which will be more fun. Um, so yeah, I think I'll be filming a moving vlog, but then once everything's set up and we're settled in, I will do an apartment tour um, once I'm happy with how it looks. Cause like over the next couple of weeks, we're still gonna be buying like decorative things. Like we still need to get a mirror. We still need to get some plants um, to like make it a bit more homely. So once all of that's done, I'll do a little apartment tour for you guys probably because I've seen it very requested on the TikTok. On the TikTok? <laughs> Why am I speaking like that? Also, look at this. That bloody doormat. Ruined my blooming bed. Right, well, that is my homework haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the vlogs. It's been a very, very stressful day um, with, like, signing the contract and everything. Like, it all got a bit confusing and then... For a split second, we thought the flat was being taken away from us. It was a whole thing, but I'm excited now. I'm really excited to do the food shop for our flat and everything. Like, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm very excited. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.